Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to SAS Lessons. And in today's lesson, this is the second lesson, uh, reading data. So reading data really encompasses bringing external data into your your SAS environment, your SAS program, so that you can then perform various SAS procedures, work as if it is a SAS data set. So really useful, really helpful. I definitely recommend that you pay attention and follow along. Uh, and I'll include a link to all the programs, all the data that I'll be using. And as well, I recommend that you check out What is SAS, my previous lesson, if you haven't already. So let's get started. So I have here, I have base SAS open. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and show you the template code that I use. So I have this text file with all my template code and I'll include a link in the description, which shows me like kind of a template on how to actually import these files, kind of like a cheat sheet for, for, for me to use. So let's go ahead and get started. So this first one is importing text data files and we're going to be using the data procedure or the data step and then we're going to be defining what our in file is. So what's the path, including the file name, how is the file delimited, and then what are the variables that, what are the names of the variables. So let's go ahead and get started. Before you actually go ahead and import your data, you should really under, better understand your data. So in this case, I have a pretty simple text document. It's called delimited. And you'll see here it's actually space delimited, uh, which means that each of these columns are separated by a space. So let's go ahead and, and get started with that. So go ahead and find your path and paste it into this in file in quotations. I'm gonna go, and then don't forget the name of the file plus the extension. And then here it is already space delimited, so that's good. And then I'm gonna name it A, I'm gonna name it A, B, and C, the names of my columns slash the name of my variables so let's run that okay so it seems to be an error oh the error is up here because i forgot to name my sas data file i'm just going to call it delimited you can see here that they are having the data step which is really important that's why you should check out your log you'll see it here now i have this this data file and then i can go library go to work since i didn't define the library that i'm setting it in it automatically went to the work library which is your temporary library uh, if you're actually importing data that you're going to be using and using in the future i recommend that you build your own library or put into your sas user for example a more permanent library but we can go here and see that we have two rows and three columns which is exactly what we defined perfect so if we go down we're going to skip over fixed length uh, but you'll see it's very similar. The only difference here is that you don't define your delimited. You just define the name of your fields plus the space, the amount of spaces that are in between uh, each one. So if we get started, uh, you'll see the next one is importing tab delimited files. So here we're going to be using the proc import uh, step instead of the data step. Uh, just because I find it's a little bit more easy, it's easier and it's a little bit more intuitive given the tasks that we have. So here, when we do the proc import, you'll notice that most proc proc uh, steps that you need to perform, you have to define the, the data we're going to get. In this case, you have to define the data file. So we're going to be using this file, uh, not sh yeah, this file, which is the unacceptable codes file. And you'll see here, it's tab delimited. You can tell since if I were to delete it, it is uh, backspace, it deletes many r columns. Uh, so you know it's tab delimited there. So let's go ahead and get started and start pulling those, those file details. So copy over the path. So I'm just going to copy the path here. And then as well, I'm going to name this. And I'm just going to have a very un uncreative name. I'm going to call it tab delimited and then you'll see here it the delimitation is tab so you don't need to worry about that or the 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 format is a tab delimited file I should say and you, and you just leave this code as is and then you can leave the get names which is that means the first row is the name so if we go ahead and run that st step and we would take a look at the log even though it ran successfully you should always check out the log uh, you'll see here 
140 observations, two variables. You'll see the code that was ran, so that's good. Perfect, so let's just check it out. And you'll see here, worked out beautifully. Awesome. So let's continue on. Let's importing, importing uh, Excel files. So what we need to do here is, again, very similar to our tabulated file, except for a few differences. Uh, one, uh, you'll see that this is the same, defining your your SAS data set, which is the out file, the data file that's going to be there. The, the format is obviously Excel, so you don't need to worry about that. You'll see the get names, get mixed, which I usually leave this as all yes. And I'll explain in another video further what it means. And then you'll see here, the main difference here is defining the range, which is the tab or range that you want to import. So in this case, uh, sheets always end with a dollar sign while ranges don't. So let's go ahead and I'm going to be using this file, which is trans underscore April. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the file path onto my SAS code, my SAS program. Perfect. And then I'm going to call this something uncreative Excel, April Excel. And then the tab that I want is this trans April. So I'm going to put that right here. Get rid of the little greater than sign since I've already have that there perfect and let's run this so you should always check out your code uh, so you'll see here look like it ran successfully 281 observations six variables let's check it out you'll see it right here looked out beautifully very easy to import very quick um, I'm it's pretty simple. So here the CSV files are pretty similar except for one you don't define the range because there's only one table in the CSV file and then you'll see everything else is very similar so I'm gonna go ahead and we could import the CSV file similar to how we've done the text files using comma delimited but the proc import is just a little bit easier to use I find. So we're gonna go ahead and call that polar path Obviously, I'm not using a macro variable. I'm sure some of you are asking why I'm using macro variable for my path. Uh, just because I just want to show you how to do this. In future videos, we'll be using a macro variable to define our path. So we'll go CSV uh, format. And then you'll see here uh, whether or not get names is whether or not your first row contains the field names. And then the second row where your data actually starts. So let's go ahead and run that. Let's take a look at the log. You'll see here 200 observations, seven variables. And if we go over to CSV format, uh, you'll see there. Obviously, we can go around to proc print, but I just find this a little bit easier to work with in the library. So now the trickiest one out of all the ones that we've done is the access file. So obviously, I'm assuming that your access file doesn't have any passwords or uh, any special authentication. If it does, then we can talk about it in a future video when we do a little bit more complex uh, imports. Or reading of data but open up your SAS data set and you'll see here I only have one table which is acceptable codes and we're gonna be using that one there so let's go ahead and very similarly just copy over the details of where your file is stored including the the path name and that's gonna be the database oh yeah that should say MDM, but that's fine. I'll update that before I post it. And again, you'll see here the table name. It's very important. But you'll see everything is quite similar. Let's just call this access import. And let's run it. You'll see it took a little bit longer, uh, but it was still able to process it uh, pretty quickly. You'll see 456 observations, two variables. Let's check this out. You'll see right here. Now you have your access database imported. You have your code saved. 
definitely leverage your import templates and definitely recommend that you're going to use templates throughout so that way you don't have to constantly memorize everything over time becomes easier uh, but it is sometimes easier just to leverage template so if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave it in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and i look forward to speaking to you next time thank you